So earlier today, I tried to record a bunch of stuff that I was doing on a customer's computer for troubleshooting and stuff, but it got so frustrating that by the end, I just stopped recording. Well, not, not the actual recording process, but um, like the problem got way out of hand, got a lot more complicated than expected. And then I had to rush back to the customer to get the computer back to them in time. And uh, yeah, that, that kind of was a waste of storage space. But look, I'm still going ahead with ClickFunnels and uh, under the Scrapyard Techie tries ClickFunnels hashtag on Twitter and not so much on Instagram at the moment, but definitely on Twitter. So um, yeah, uh, I almost forgot to do a video today too because I am so head deep into ClickFunnels. Um, so far, I'm finding it really, really good. Like, um, it's really, really simple to use. Like, the hardest part that I've found so far is actually deciding what content to put on it. And now this is for a client's website. I did start it in WordPress using the Divi theme, which uh, that in itself is really powerful too, but it's a lot more complicated. Now look, just brief background on that. I'm used to, like, I started making websites when I was 12, 11, 11, I think, I hadn't turned 12 yet. Um, and back then that was just in Microsoft Word and then save as HTML. And I'm not gonna lie, that was freaking terrible, but it was a start. So uh, by the time I was like, what, 13, 14, something like that, um, well, actually even before that, I'd started learning how to make websites other ways. I think I moved on to Dreamweaver for a little while um, under the 30 day trial thing before you had to uninstall and reinstall or whatever. I can't remember what you had to do with that, but there was something. Um, because Microsoft Word produced terrible HTML code, which was uh, bloated and had a bunch of like Microsoft specific stuff that wasn't needed. Now look, I'm nerding out a little bit here, but bear with me. Um, moved on to Dreamweaver, which was a lot neater. And then after that, then, wait, does Dreamweaver still exist? I don't think Dreamweaver exists anymore. I haven't looked at that for years. Anyway, so then I moved on to actually coding them in like HTML using Notepad. And I was doing that for years, like even to the point of uh, making PHP websites with a MySQL database backend. Look, still nerding out. Um, and yeah, I hand coded those. And uh, that was annoying because, um, well, it's kind of annoying because when you're testing stuff, when stuff doesn't work, there's nothing to test with uh, in Notepad itself. There's nothing that tells you, hey, you might have an error here. There's no color coding, there's nothing. In hindsight, I probably should have used Notepad Plus, um, which I have used a little bit since then. And that made life a lot easier because the color codes, uh, bits and pieces like symbols and code and tag and stuff, tags and, you know, that's all the fancy stuff. It color codes everything and makes it easier for you to identify stuff. I, I still don't think it tells you errors, but yeah. Anyway, so moving on, then I moved on to WordPress and, um, well, actually it was, Actually, yeah, we've been using WordPress for years for our own websites, and uh, that's been good. That's been great. And um, now ClickFunnels seems to be easier than that again. So, so far I'm liking it. Um, I'll keep going with it. Like I said, the hardest part really is deciding what content to put on it. Um, but yeah, but that's been going well, and then just formatting it and making sure it's right. By comparison, I think it probably would have taken me 10 times as long to figure out how to do it on WordPress. Um, at least the setup that I'm going with. I like the fact that everything is like integrated. We can get it to integrate with the mailing stuff as well. Um, by the way, I'm not trying to sell you ClickFunnels at this point. Um, I do have an affiliate link, which I have put on the second Twitter post, I think I put for this um, this round of Scrap How Techie Tries ClickFunnels, which is actually me using ClickFunnels now, not just training to use it, not just learning about it, I'm actually trying it now. Um, but I'm not including that affiliate link in this, if um, just in case you're wondering just in case you think, yeah, you're just selling me the system. I'm not selling you the system. I'm just telling you exactly what I found. And like, while I appreciate what I went through to make websites previously, um, this makes it a whole heck of a lot easier. Um, but what I've done previously gives me insight as to how it works and what things mean, what terms mean, how it's supposed to work, how it interacts with you know, the back end and all the rest of it. And yeah, this, this just makes it easier. I haven't actually lo looked at the code yet, so I don't know if the code's clean and nice and neat and the way that I like it. I suspect it may not be, but um, the other thing which I think I've already mentioned in a previous video is that it is hosted on Amazon Web Services. So Amazon servers, so it can be scaled hugely if necessary. Um, and yeah, really fast network infrastructure for that and servers out the wazoo, um, not literally, but uh, it's also, I think it's backed by the Cloudflare Content Delivery Network or CDN, which also makes it faster 
as well and a whole level of dns protection like against a whole bunch of sorts of threats and stuff like that um i won't go into detail about those things but um as a nerd i really appreciate the fact that those technologies and services are in use for this thing because i have noticed that uh clickfunnels hosted pages seem to load really really quick everything that i've been doing has been really quick so yeah again not trying to sell you a product just um my experience so far this is way longer than i expected it to be but um yeah as a as someone who's been doing website stuff for a very long time now um i appreciate what it is what it does and uh how it works yeah um i'd, I'd probably even recommend it to non-techie people but i imagine the learning curve will be a bit steeper but that's all right. I think it's still not as steep as trying to set up a WordPress website yourself. That being said, I still want to use WordPress as our base for our websites and then use ClickFunnels in conjunction with that, which is entirely possible in our instructions on how to do that. So that's fine. Um, but I haven't figured that out and not doing that for this client at this point. Well, actually, sorry, we probably will a little, but not hugely doing that for this client at this point. Yeah. Anyway, um, if you want to see what happens with that, because... I'm probably gonna keep talking about that as I go, uh, or at least when I get into launching it, um, which should be in the next, I don't know, should be really soon. I think I've almost finished this one, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, you can follow and subscribe if you wanna follow along with that, or what else I find in there, um, but especially on Twitter. Hashtags, hashtag, I still can't say the word hashtag, hey. Hashtag, Scrapyard Techie tries click funnels, and uh, yeah. You can go find that, or you can just wait for the next video, or whatever you want. Or you can just go and we'll never see you again. But really, I hope to see you next time. Thanks. Bye.